Joko Widodo is convinced he is the newly elected president of Indonesia. And when the official result is announced, he's sure that his opponent, former General Prabowo Subianto, will concede defeat graciously. Menerima. Beliau uh, negarawan kok. Beliau patriot. I'm sure he'll accept it. He's a statesman and a patriot. The people have spoken. They've shown what they want. Our democracy is a happy one and our people are happy to be involved in politics. But Prabowo would probably be happier if his opponent did the conceding, based on different preliminary results. Prabowo also declared victory. But after meeting President Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono, all victory celebrations were toned down. Uh, President Yudhoyono has asked us to prevent any conflict between the two camps, and this is what my coalition has always aimed for. A nation in waiting. Indonesians want to know who they can call their next president. For many, it's clear that this will be Joko Widodo, Jakarta's governor. But they will still have to wait two more weeks before they know for sure. Many were confused when both camps celebrated on Wednesday. Kemarin itu, emang saya sudah penghitungan udah anggap menang. I really thought he had won. I was so happy. We were already gathering our friends, but then Jokowi's supporters came. I didn't want any trouble, so I left. Vote telling has started, and despite fears of fraud, election observers are optimistic the elections will be judged fair. If, uh, there's a margin of 4% between Joko Widodo winning over Prabowo, or even 5%, to manipulate over 5% of the votes uh, would be uh, very difficult. 5% of the votes it will be a vote. Um, ten, in the tens of millions, that's uh, a lot of money, a lot of uh, a lot of commissioners to 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 bribe. The election results are scheduled to be announced on July 22nd. Until then, supporters in both camps are being asked to be patient. Step Fasen, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.